Hey, Bill here with 30 Minute Woodshop. Today, I'm going to show you how to turn scrap into a very quick and easy kid friendly project, and we're making a key hanger. So, all I'm doing is taking this piece of scrap. This is actually a four quarter piece, which means it's a full one inch thick. Um, it's two and a half inches wide and 12 inches long. You can adjust the size to match whatever it is you need. So, I have all these small key hangers. You only take one screw. And what we'll do is we'll pre drill. This is why it makes it easy for a small child to do it. So, if you have a uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten year old. Real easy for them if you pre drill and they can get it made up for mom and dad. Uh, the best part is this sticks along or hangs along with the uh, farmhouse stuff I've been doing. This is the same kind of key rack that I grew up with. Always had tractor keys on it, car keys, truck keys, shed keys, all that kind of thing. And I'll say, you may not be at a farm. But I'm sure you're going to have some teen drivers and you're going to have to do some car moving. It's always nice to have those keys hanging in one spot. So keep watching. And uh, the only tricky thing to this is going to be putting the edge treatment for this because I think I'm going to do an OG, Roman OG, or a, maybe a Coven B. So we'll take it over to the router table next. Okay, decided to go with the Roman OG bit here. So let's make some noise. So one thing I did is I cut it a little bit shallow so that I could raise the bit a little bit and take away some of this burn with a very shallow cut. So that's the next thing I'm going to do. But to do that, I want to open this up just a, just a hair. And we're going to raise this up just a bit. That should be enough just to take off the edge. Make some more noise. And there we have it. It's looking pretty good. A little bit of sanding, take out some of the rust spots. We should be golden. Okay, stick with my favorite uh, 220 grit. I'm gonna wrap it around a pen just because that's what the, what, uh, the curve is here. out pretty nice. Really quick sand with 220. So I think the next thing I want to do is do a, do a rattle can spray job on this. Give it a quick spray and uh, we'll have to let it dry and then uh, see what it looks like tomorrow. Well it's not perfect. I got three coats of uh, light white on it. Just spray, spray enamel and uh, did a quick sanding between them with a uh, 320. And hit it finally with 320. It's not a thick coat. I can still see the grain through it, so it matches all the rest of this, this farmhouse stuff that I've been doing, which is kind of more of a, a uh, wash, a white wash, or a heavy wash. And uh, so it's exactly what I want. Now we're going to put on these, these uh, really cool coat hooks, or I'm sorry, key hooks. You can kind of see these. These are one screw, these are one screw key hook. So as a kid friendly project, it's perfect. So all you have to do is ride in one screw. You can get bigger ones because these are pretty tiny screws. So you may need bigger ones if you want, uh, want to do that with the smaller kids. Uh, easy thing to do. I've already set this to the to the to uh, where I want the center line of the hole to be. That should be right about there. Just to make sure. So this is set to the center line of the hole. I can run around here and I can come up with this, my centers. Now across this end to end, what I've done is I've designed this so I pulled back in one inch here, one inch here, and then put an inch and a half between each one. So now all I have to do is bark it up and we should be good. Now I'll tell you, if you don't have one of these, uh, a steel rule, you really need to get one because uh, tape measure for this kind of project right now, at this point, 
tape measure won't cut it. All I'm doing is dropping these in at the inch and a half mark. Twice cut once. Okay. Now I get across the part. I'm just going to come in here, hold this, and now these are small enough that they're going to get covered up by the uh, key hook. This should give them, give them to me in all the right places. Next, I'm going to drop a hole. So the great thing about like I like about woodworking is I can create my own tools. And so I created this ice pick that I use for a punch, and it's perfect for this kind of work because it's very precise. And I am putting a small hole in this. Drop these in, we'll be good. number one Phillips screwdriver here. Um, I'm not pre-drilling these. All I used was the uh, ice pick to put the hole in. But if you're doing this with kids, I would pick up something like this uh, small 16th of an inch drill and I would drill it about half the depth roughly of uh, the screw. Make it way easy for, way easier for them to get it in. There you have it. Super easy, super quick to build. Um, just easy for kids too. By the way, if you are doing this in uh, hardwood, I'd also pre-drill. I'm doing this in poplar, but easy, easy to do. Very cheap, very quick, very fast. Great woodworking project for kids. Get them involved. Drill, put some screws in. They love doing this kind of stuff. Definitely for kids, they'll pre-drill. Well, our farmhouse style key, hook, key rack is done. What a great project. Super easy, cheap, and, and simple to make. Great kid-friendly project. Toward the end here, I put on three coats of uh, rattle can white. Between them, I sanded with 320 grit, which gave me a really nice uh, farmhouse. Just kind of a, not quite distressed, but kind of a distressed look to it. So perfect for all the rest of the farmhouse stuff that I've done earlier. So take a look at the bottom. There's some Links to those uh, those uh, videos in my blogs for uh, the farmhouse stuff I've done. Uh, there's also, by the way, links down there for uh, the, the uh, hooks, the little hangers here. Now, one thing I didn't mention is how you attach this thing. You attach this generally by drilling a hole in each end. That's why there's a one inch gap here and screwing straight into the wall. Easy to do. Hit them with a little bit of white paint on top of it, and the heads of those screws will disappear. Or you can use picture hangers in the back if you want. I'll put a link for some picture hangers you can get uh, if you want to choose to do it that way. I've never liked those. They don't really work so well for me. Now, the other thing is making this for working with kids on this. If you're going to do that, make sure you drill a, three, or, sorry, a 1 16th inch hole, pilot hole for the screws. They're small screws. They take a number one Phillips, but they need that pilot hole or the kids will get really frustrated. These are only single screw hooks, so they're very fast and easy to install. Keeps the kids' frustration level down, and keeps your frustration level down too. So I'll put links in the bottom for some of the tools I use, including that 16th inch drill. 
And uh, there's also a link down there from my blog. You can check that out for this piece. And hey, on that note, I hope you had fun watching this. And if you did, please hit like and subscribe. I'd appreciate that. And until next time, hey, good making.